Welcome back to another edition of our back to school, back to university dorm speed build challenge. I am so excited. There are only two episodes left and that makes me so nervous. This little room over here is going to pack a big punch. I have a lot planned for it and I really like how it turned out. So this room here is essentially a study room. I want to take a little bit of liberty and again, I wanted to fill out this dorm so a little bit more than what the standard dorms have. So I added a lot of extra features to it from the kitchen with the dining room and even to this little study slash library room. You can see I started out green and then I quickly switched it over to red because we are at Foxbury and I wanted to keep the colors loyal. So we quickly squashed the green and moved on to the red. And I did choose a bit of a deeper red here. Um, I, I really do like it. So it's not that like burning red color. It's almost like a warm, comforting, focusing red color. So I'm pretty psyched about that. I wanted to pack in as much into this room as possible. I wanted to really make sure that the students were able to get their studies worth. And, but at the same time, I also didn't want to give them too many of any single resource. So I started out with two gorgeous tables. I really lucked out with these tables. I don't know how I got such a perfect match on these tables, but it is what it is. And sometimes things just fall into place. So on this table, I chose these long tables uh, because they seat six. And so I wanted to be able to have plenty of room for the students to work in and study in. But I also didn't want anything that was too personal again. Like I didn't want everybody being able to have their own personal space. You have to kind of interact with other people in this room. So I quickly switched it down from two tables to one. And that was essentially just because I wanted to be able to fit some of these other things in there. I got really excited. I was like, yes, we want this robotic station. Let's get a, let's get some lab equipment. Like, I don't know what my sim is going to be into. And I'm so excited to get to know her. And so I wanted to be able to have lots of different options, lots of different activities. I'm so tired of leveling the logic skill with nothing but a chess table. And so I wanted to have some other activities and I've never actually leveled any skills on the lab table. So I'm excited, the, the laboratory in the corner there, I am really excited to see if I'm able to use it just to level a skill. And even if not, I think it's awesome, like just aesthetically to have it in the little library here. So. I was really excited about it. So as you can see, I only put three computers and then the other three stations I left for open workstations so that people can come and gather in here and study together in the dorm or they can study in their rooms. They have lots of study space and desks in their rooms. There is, I believe, two computers and one of those research stations. So I was I'm, I'm again, really excited about that. So they really have everything they need. And I hope, I hope this place ends up as a, like a, a hangout spot. I'm going to for sure have to give it that, um, the, 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 the hot spot trait so that we have a lot of traffic. Cause I really feel like this space, like every area of this space was just taken advantage of. And so there's so much that you can do. And even though there's only room for eight Sims to live in here, because I only made eight beds, there's room for so many more just to hang out and chill. And I think I think that it's going to be really exciting. So I think I'm going to try and give it the hotspot trait um, and definitely a couple other traits that make life a little bit more challenging for our Sims, considering they have such a luxurious dorm space. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited for the Let's Play. That is now going to be only two weeks away on the Saturday because the Saturday, it's going to, it's going to move on to the Saturday so that I 
don't have to give up my useful content on Thursdays. I'm going to be going up to two posts a week. But more on that later on when it actually launches. For now, we are still easing into back to school and enjoying this build along with it. So here we are now and we're going to start adding some of the clutter and you know that is my favorite part of the build. I love adding the clutter. I love making it feel lived in. In this case, again, we're doing another public space, so we don't have to really worry about any one Sims personality, but instead I wanted to make it really have the extra books, have it look like some people might have left a couple things behind. I wanted it to be uh, full, of, full of books, obviously, because we have the little library area, and that is definitely a 100% study space, but if you check and see that there is a little bit of clutter that people left behind. Yeah, we will definitely be fighting over this space and making sure that everybody is picking up after themselves and keeping it clean. I can only imagine what this place is going to look like semester two, semester three, once people start. Once my standards have started slipping and I'm just concerned with getting homework done and nothing else, that's, it's going to be pretty exciting. I really struggled with finding artwork for this space because I had such a specific aesthetic and idea in mind, and I just could not find it. Perhaps if I could use CC, I could have, but this is no CC, no CC at all. It's all just in-game Maxis, Maxis art, and so I could not find what I want. I did find something else that I wasn't expecting that I settled for anyways, um, but it was a real it was really difficult to try and find the the artwork that I really needed. So we are going to start wrapping things up now and heading into the screenshots. And again, we are going to be building this in order to launch that Let's Play in a couple of weeks. So please, in the meantime, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every Thursday, and it is always about study tips, organizational hacks, and homework help to help you through the steady struggle. I am also going to be upping to twice a week and releasing a bonus Saturday morning video. And for this first series, it's going to be The Sims Let's Play Back to University Challenge. So please join me, please subscribe, and until next time, I hope you have an amazing adventure.